Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we uh, have a couch. <laughs> Not really a breaking news update, it did an article on it, but I decided I wanted to make a video for it, and think, uh, again, it's going to be one of those screen sharing videos, so um, I'm going to use my laptop, the quality is not as good as my iPhone, so if I'm kind of pixelated, <laughs> so sorry about that, you won't get to see your, uh, uh, my ugly face be in the corner. Um, in just a couple of seconds when we'll show the uh, actual computer screen. So today, Disney did a couple of things. They furloughed their customers, which I'll show you right now. Uh, they furloughed their customers. Um, and they're, they're starting April 19th, they're furloughing their customers. Um, for anyone who want some up-to-date information on smaller sub subjects that I may not do a video on, make sure to follow themeparkwizard.net. This is my uh, my website that uh, goes along with my YouTube channel. Yes, Disney is furloughing cast members starting April 19th. They're furloughing salary cast members and hourly cast members in non-essential roles. And this is across all of their um, units, um, cruise lines, hotels, um, theme parks, all all that stuff. Um, and that again starts April nineteenth through however long, however long the parks are closed. Casmers will be provided medical leave, uh, medical insurance as well. And any cast members in the Disney Aspire program will continue to be able to be participating in it. And again, yes, it goes for all units, like call centers, warehouses, and any no, Disney news. Disney got this wonderful statement below, which you can go on my website and read the full thing if you'd like. And Disney CEO Bob Chaker sent out a letter as well that you can read if you'd like to know what he said. The other news story of the day, though, is that Disney, um, just um, maybe a half hour or so after that, re released, updated their travel information page on um, on uh, their website and how they talked about updating annual password requirements. Sorry, guys, I have a sneeze coming up in 10 seconds. <coughs> <laughs> Allergies, trust me, I'm not sick. And if I am at a, I'm at home, but knock on the wood, not sick. I have allergies. But Disney did release new information regarding annual pass orders. And that is there's a couple of about three different options here. And that's start if you paid in full. This is for Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Um the domestic parks only. This is for Disney. Uh, this is what happens if you bought an annual passport and you paid in full. If you pay in full, you'll get an extension of your expiration date by however many day, days the parks are closed. If you do not want that expiration, if you don't want that extension, you can get a partial refund. Um, partial refund of however many months left until your pass expires. So let's say your pass expires in June. Um, and the, the parks have been closed, what, since March? So, and he paid in full. If you don't want the extended date, then you should get a refund for March, April, May, and June. Because that's the, the remaining months until your passes have expired. So that's how that works. And then if you're doing the monthly payment plan, then you have a couple, again, a couple of different options. Monthly payments will be waived for the length of the closure, meaning they don't you they you don't have to pay. Any any monthly payments made between March fourteenth through tomorrow. Sorry, please all these notifications keep popping up. Any payments made again from March fourteenth through April fourth will be refunded, but you do not get an automatic extension on your pass. But if you choose to extend, you, you don't get an automatic extension, but you may choose to extend your pass, the length of the closure, and then just pay the amount at a later date when the park is up and running. So 
You choose to explain the length of your pass. The park is open in June. Then at the end of June, you'll probably get hit with a bill for three months of monthly payment instead of just June's monthly payment. That's probably how that would work. And again, Disney released a wonderful statement on their website. This picture is just screen grab right from the website. So go on their website, or if you uh, want to see the information broke down, go on my, my website, themeparkblizzard.net, and um, see what's going on there. But that's basically it, guys. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on in the theme park department. Again, SeaWorld started the furloughs with 90% of their workforce being furloughed. <laughs> But SeaWorld only gave you four, only gave the employees four days notice. Disney is giving their employees about, let's see, April 19th, it's the second right now, so 17 days notice, which is much, much better than SeaWorld. SeaWorld's also, I'm sure they're not getting medical leave or anything like that. But what do you guys think of this current situation? Are you a Disney cast member in any department, whether theme parks, cruise lines, um, movies, warehouse, any of that? Does this affect you? How does this affect you? And um, let me know, show, share your stories below and comment below. When do you guys think the parks will open? Subscribe for more updates, more theme park updates, as we'll see if any other theme park changes, specifically Cedar Fair and really Six Flags, will do the same thing. And I have a feeling Six Flags, at least, will have to. As always, have a fantastic day.